Hi there guys and welcome to another FPV Guy video. I'm Bo Lorenzen, the FPV Guy, and today I'm going to be showing you a brand new product from Unique and it's something we've been waiting for, but I gotta tell you, this has been in production and been worked on for more than a year. So we're seeing something come together here that was not started yesterday. And of course, without dragging it out, I'm talking about the new Breeze, the Breeze 4K mini selfie drone. It's an incredible new category and as you probably noticed, we have seen a lot of new mini products coming out. Some of them kind of crappy and other ones absolutely fabulous. But what we're looking at here is a 4K drone and I've been testing this already. Basically, you can get 4K video out of it, but in reality, you want to use the 1080p video that is gonna give you a much more stabilized and very ready to use video for YouTube or for your selfies. So it arrives in a box this big and you've seen me unbox other products so you already know that it's a very small box. This is how big it is. This is really about the size of an iPad case. So that's the box. Inside the box, this is what's inside. There's also an extra box with accessories but to save some time I'm not going to unbox those for you. This is basically the product here and to open it up you stick your thumb in here and just kind of pull out quite a lot on the case, more than you think you would need to. Once you open it up, inside you find this teeny little quad. There is a set of propeller guards which I think is fantastic because new users should always start flying with propeller guards. The other thing, and you guys know how I feel about spare propellers, this thing comes with a full set of spare propellers. That is fantastic again because you know what? You just bought yourself a great new multirotor. You fly into the nearest rose bush or tree and guess what? You're gonna need propellers. So having propellers are gonna make the first couple of weeks of flying just so much more fun. You know my feelings, no company should ship a drone without spare propellers and Unic have got that message. They have all the spares you need in here. The other thing is, it, the system comes with two batteries and a charger. Let me show you. Here is the charger. All right, I've already been charging on this, as you can tell. So here's the battery and a charger. And typically, I find that recharging these batteries takes about 30 minutes. The battery itself is fairly small. I don't know if you can see it on a detail camera here, but it fit, pretty much fits inside my fist. It's a 3S, so that's 11.2 volts, 1100 milliamp. So it's a very small battery. And you may, somebody, I know somebody's gonna be asking me, why didn't they make a 6,000 milliamp battery? That's because this drone is all about size. It's about something you can put in your backpack when you go hiking. It's something you can take with you to your friends. And it's something a couple of girls can take with them when they're gonna go somewhere on a party. That's what this drone is about. So grabbing the drone itself here from the case, what I really like is, notice how the propellers folds in really nicely. This is incredibly small and the first thing I was thinking was, I need to make something that kind of comes over here so I can just throw it in the backpack. It, is, it comes with a very nice and safe carry case though, so you don't need that. And on the bottom of it, here what you find is the legs. The legs, they fold out like this you don't really need them and it will fly without it but we are trying to protect the glass in here and let's get to this glass see if we can get kind of close on that that glass and it's actually a little piece of plastic on here i'm just going to take that off to make sure everything works right have the regular i call it a drift camera you heard me say that before that is the camera that looks down on the ground keeps an eye on a detail and try to keep the aircraft on top of that so if you're flying inside or if you have poor GPS you can still fly and it's still gonna function the way you expect it to. Here is something interesting. I would have thought that they used an ultrasonic altitude control but no they're using an infrared altitude control. This is the first I've never seen this before. Basically there's two camera lenses here and it projects an infrared signature down and back up and it's operational, from what I understand, all the way up to 30 feet, and probably a bit more than 30 feet. That means you can fly a lot higher than you can with, say, an AR drone, and still get full control, even if there's no GPS. That's another great feature. Now, up in the front here, you have the camera. Don't pull around on this camera, because it is motorized. That's so you can set the angle you wanna look down at, 
inside the app. On the camera, you can get an untrimmed 4K file that you can save. You can also save a 1080p stabilized image, which frankly is what you want to use because it looks great. Or you can save a 13 megapixel JPEG. Again, the JPEGs look really good and they have a cool little feature. When you take a JPEG, select the JPEG, the camera mode, you don't have to click on the button. When you're in the JPEG mode, you can just tap anywhere on the screen. So, you know, you go out there and you can put your hand behind the back and just tap the screen and you get your picture. I think that's a really cool feature. So getting a little closer here and what we see up here is the release button for the battery. I can pull it out like that. Here's the battery and here's where the battery goes. I'm going to put this one back in. The last thing I really need to show you is this awesome GPS antenna. They chose a bigger than ordinary antenna for a product like this. And the result is faster GPS acquisition and also a system that can handle 20 plus GPS satellites. That means a lot of the units, the small units we have seen, are operating six, seven satellites. They consider that great. And sometimes they get up to eight, nine, or even 10. This thing, you can expect to operate with a lot more satellites, which is gonna give you a much more stable and accurate flight. So that's also a good feature. Now, really briefly, there's a couple of features you wanna know about before we fly this. When we go into it, we select a function. What do we wanna do, like a selfie? Or we want to do an orbit, fly around myself and see myself in the video. Or I can select the pilot mode where I essentially have sticks like you do on a regular controller. Now, when you start out, you always start camera facing me. But in the sticks mode, you can choose to have tail in. Once you have chosen to have nose in or tail in, that's how it's gonna fly. So it's not a typical smart mode where it constantly points at you. In the pilot mode, you actually get to fly. That means, of course, you could fly out a little bit and then you could push along the trees and get a nice shot, like the three, four, five, ten 10 seconds we want for a video without having to worry about it being the selfie mode. However, the customers for this product is obviously the selfie mode users. So you, you and I, some of us fly professional video drones and this is not what we can use for a professional shoot. Just forget about that. It's not for that. This is something I can throw in the top of my backpack. And when I go hiking with some friends and I want an aerial shot from our hike or wherever we are at, this is what you pull out and it's perfect to share with your friends. So let's go ahead fire it up and get some video. Before we start this up, I'm gonna grab my iPhone and that's really one of the awesome things about this. You can fly this with any smartphone. So we go on the bottom here and we're gonna push for about three seconds. Did you hear that? We are hot. You can't actually see this right now, but inside the arm, the light is blinking and it's gonna be changing color once the Wi-Fi connection is set up. So I'm turning my phone on and I'm gonna go and find this. I'm gonna put this out here and we're gonna have the camera facing us. All right, guys, so I put the aircraft out here and then I turned the app on and down the bottom of the screen, it's gonna ask me to connect the Wi-Fi when you see the breeze on the Wi-Fi, you connect to the breeze and the password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, zero. That's the usual Unix password for their accessories. So we have 17 satellites. Damn, this thing's fast. All right, guys, so we got this thing going and we're now looking at the flight screen. I'm gonna select a selfie. So I'm gonna click on selfie right here and it's gonna tell me that, warn me what I'm about to do. So I'm gonna slide to proceed. And here is now my control screen. In the center is me, and on the left is the camera angle. On the right is altitude, so that's a little counterintuitive to us stick pilots. So up in the top, we have the distance. We can use this slider to choose how far the aircraft is from us. Down the bottom is what we usually call a yaw stick. However, Unit calls it a background changer because by sliding that, you can fly the aircraft around yourself and pick a nice background for your selfie, right? This is a selfie. It is not a video drone per se. It's not a professional video drone. It's a selfie video drone. So that's pretty much all there is to it. In the bottom right, it likes to give us what we need to do next and it says take off. 
So I'm just gonna press take off. Now it comes up and wants me, do I really wanna do that? I do. And I slide to the right. And I absolutely love the takeoff. Notice how slow and controlled this is. It's not something that goes woo and scares the shit out of you. It just goes very calmly, very controlled. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the distance slider and I'm gonna slide it a little hard to get hold of. There we go. And we're just sliding it out a little bit. And I'm gonna click on camera real quickly. And then I'm gonna start, I'm in video, so I'm just gonna click on the video. And now I'm slowly recording 1080p. So having started the video, let's push up a little bit. And you have probably noticed the wind today. It's quite windy. And we are just taking a slow speed upwards right now. And look at that cool, stable, shot right there. This is something you could easily use. There's a lot of wind up there. It's about 15 to 20 miles per hour wind right now. So that is probably not something we should expect on a nice quiet day. Unfortunately, I don't have access to this drone any other time or any other day right now. So I gotta fly it when I can fly it. So we are up here and we could start doing a circle around. It's also possible to fly out over something you want to see and then set a center point and do an optic circle around something else. That means you can use it for point of interest circles. Now, I want to show you a little bit more about how windy it is. I'm just going to switch the pilot mode. I do that by clicking in the upper right hand corner, select the pilot, acknowledge that I'm in pilot mode, and now I can yaw. I can yaw around and I think those palms behind me Hello Wow guys there, there is so much more I want to tell you, but I gotta be perfectly honest, it's blistering hot out here in California right now. And I'm gonna wrap this up. We are getting a full-time tester in, so we're gonna get much more in-depth video. Like I said, we get about 12 minutes of flight time out of these batteries. They were not intended to fly for 40 minutes, simply because it's a backpack thing. It is something you toss in your backpack, but you know what? These batteries are super small. You can have a whole bunch of them with you. They are very easy to transport. And I gotta tell you, having looked at a bunch of different ones, the Unique Breeze is by far the most satisfying mini selfie quad I have played with so far this year. With the amount of time I invested in learning how to use it, I have gotten better results with, from this than with any other product I've been flying in this selfie category this year. Like I said before, this was not intended to win over you guys that fly $5,000 video drones because frankly, it's not a $5,000 video drone. They moved the comma. It's a four something, a 499. And this is a drone you throw in your backpack for the family vacation. That's what it's for. And for that purpose, this is what I would take on vacation with me. That is, if I didn't bring a $5,000 drone just because I really wanted to fly a big monster camera. But most people don't have an urge to bring a GH4 with them on vacation. Because of that, I think this is going to be a runaway success once it gets out in the marketplace and people start using it and you're going to see people on Instagram posting videos with this thing. So that's about it for today. Make sure you click down the corner on the subscribe button because we're going to have more videos about the breeze. And also, please take a moment, take this video, post the link out somewhere and share this video with the rest of the world. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for more videos.